Starting January 1st, many companies will have to do a beneficial ownership report. If not, you can risk being fined $500 a day up to $10,000, plus you can possibly be sitting in jail for two years. So today, I'm gonna to be telling you exactly what you need to do to make sure that you properly report your business so this doesn't happen to you. Hello everyone, my name is Mariah. I am a fellow small business owner and on this channel, I like to share with you business tips, give you guys business advice and new grant opportunities. If that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my new content. I know the business world has been buzzing about this new beneficial ownership report. So the first thing that we'll have to discuss is what exactly is the beneficial ownership report. The beneficial ownership information refers to identifying information about the individuals who directly or indirectly own or control a company. Now let's head on over to the website. The report is going to be handled on the fencing.gov website. So to get here, we'll go to fencing.gov slash BOI, which of course stands for beneficial ownership information. So once we're here, oh yeah, and this is one thing I have talked about, to be aware of scammers, especially with this new report coming out. I know a lot of companies are shaking in their boots because they don't know what the heck this report is about. How much are they trying to charge for you to report it? When you need to report it, but you need to know this, okay? Vincent has been notified of recent fraudulent attempts to solicit information from individuals and entities who may be subject to report requirements under the Corporate Transparency Act. The fraudulent correspondent may be titled Important Compliance Notice and ask the recipient to click on a URL or to scan a QR code. Those emails or letters are fraudulent. Vincent does not send unsolicited requests. Please do not respond to these fraudulent messages or click on any links or scan any QR codes within them. All right, once we scroll down, beginning on January 1st, 2024, many companies in the United States have to report information about their beneficial ownerships, i.e. the individual who ultimately owns or controls the company. They will have to report the information to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. FinCEN is a bureau of the U.S. Department of Treasury. Please note, FinCEN cannot accept reports before January 1st, 2024. That means if you hear people say, oh, you need to hurry up and send in this report. I can get it done for you. Yada, yada, yada. It's a lie because like they said, they're not accepting them currently. So you don't have to stress or worry about it until then. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty. I'm going to go to small business resources and frequently asked questions. So we're going to skip through this and I'm just going to go through the main parts that you should actually know. Why do companies have to report beneficial ownership information to the U.S. Department of Treasury? In 2021, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act on a bipartisan basis. This law creates a new beneficial ownership information reporting requirement as part of the U.S. government's effort to make it harder for bad actors to hide or benefit from their ill-gotten gains through shell companies. And just basically what it comes down to, they're trying to get these businesses to do the right thing and pay their taxes because like us little guys, we have to pay the taxes. We don't have lots of money to hire lawyers to help us hide money and stuff like that. When do I need to report my company's beneficial ownership information to FinCEN? A reporting company created or registered to do business before January 1st, 2024 will have until January 1st, 2025 to file its initial beneficial ownership information report. A reporting company created or registered on or after January 1st, 2024 will have 30 days to file its initial beneficial ownership information report. The 30 day deadline runs from the time the company receives actual notice that its creation or registration is effective or after a secretary of state or similar office first provides public notice of its creation or registration whichever is early so i have read somewhere that they're actually going to give people 90 days to file it if you're a new business then you should know about this already i'm guessing if you're thinking about starting a business and you don't want to file this yet i would say get to starting your business now so you can have a whole year to file it will Will there be a fee for this? No. So I feel like this form is going to be pretty easy 
to fill out, especially if you register your business every year, if you update your documents every year, I feel like this is gonna be really simple to do. So if you could do it on your own, do it because there is no fee. But I have also read somewhere that you can hire a third party to do this report for you. So maybe like a trusted CPA. And it says, where can I find the form to report? The form to report beneficial ownership information is not yet available. Once available, information about the form will be posted on Fenson's beneficial ownership information website. It says that you'll be able to file it online. So here's the big thing. What companies will be required to report beneficial ownership information? Domestic reporting companies are corporations, LLCs, and other entities created by the filing of document with the Secretary of State or any similar office in the United States. Foreign reporting companies are entities including corporations, LLCs formed under the law of foreign country that have registered to do business in the United States by the filing of a document with the Secretary of State or any similar office. All right, let's scroll down. This is going to be a list of some companies that are exempt. So yes, it is true. If they find out that you have a registered business under your name, you will be charged $500 per day for the business up to $10,000. Well, I found this on the site right here and it's going to be this website. What are the penalties of non-compliance with the beneficial ownership rule? But this one says businesses not complying with beneficial ownership information reporting requirements can face stiff penalties. Any company that fails to file a required beneficial ownership report or amendment by its filing deadline is subjected to a $500 per day up to a maximum of $10,000 willful failures or intentionally filing inaccurate information is a felony punishable by up to two years in prison when combined with anti money laundering violations the penalty is up to 10 years in prison yikes okay so you guys i will keep you updated if i find out more information on this beneficial ownership report if you have any questions or concerns make sure you comment them down below if you enjoyed today's content make sure you give me a like and for more, make sure you subscribe.